Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us once again for another Monday Night Live. Finally back in the saddle. Feeling a little bit better now and all is good with the world. So very, very happy to be back. Not happy about this being in frame, but, uh, you know, we've got to worry about that at another point. Now then, um, my stream status via the interweb stuff is not brilliant, so I've had to reduce the quality a little bit on the camera. Hopefully that's all fine and dandy still, and you can still hear and see me okay. Should be using this microphone, which I think we are. See, it seemed to pick up me rubbing. <laughs> so uh, that's a good one. We had that. See this? I don't, I don't really, but uh, I don't know. Technical, technical, huh? Um, anyway, so yes, back in. Hello to everybody. If this, if this is your first one, just to let you know the rules and how we go about doing things here around about these parts. Um, what we're going to do is going to have the first 10 minutes of just saying hello to people. So if you're watching this on replay, just skip 10 minutes, just unless you want to hear me say hello to a bunch of people. After that, we're going to do the vlog section and then Mr. Todd's going to come and join me and we'll have a little chat and a, uh, a chin wag for you crazy cats and answer a load of questions. So let's have a little look in chat um, up front, shall we? Um, uh, oh God, I've gone, I've gone back to uh, a bad stream situation going on. This, this, this doesn't, <laughs> oh, it doesn't fill me with confidence. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm just going to say hello to people that have uh, tagged me. Uh, David Smithson, hello. Kevin K and Vaping Bachelor, hello to you all. Thank you very much for joining me. Let's have a little scroll, see what I can see. Hopefully, I'm still broadcasting. Fingers crossed. Um, I better have my uh, my chat with Mr. Todd going just in case it all goes off and he can let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Todd is in chat as well. So if you misbehave or uh, do anything you're not allowed to do, just be a nice person. Don't uh, don't be a dick and you won't get booted. Everyone's a winner. Uh, right. Dean Feeney, Ashley Brown, OR, OR Church, Eyeball 1975. That, uh, that logo. Your profile pic, Mr. Eyeball 1975, really reminds me of a, of a skateboard thing from the late 80s. Um, I like that. Original owner, triple seven high crack dump. Welcome back. Thank you very much indeed for, for having me. Very kind of you. Uh, Steve Bellamy, evening at Mr. Biker. I'm just going to scroll through, making sure that people aren't going, oh, I can't see you in the stream. Shit. Um, right. Let's uh, let's go back up top. Let me know where you're from, if you can, just because I like to know where you guys are all watching me from. Um, hearing clear and seeing okay. That's fantastic. Calculio. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. How are you doing? Um, I'm not entirely sure if we like this like really dark background or if we like that being a little bit lighter. I'm not entirely sure what I'm sold on as yet. If you've got any opinions, let me know. Um, David Smithson, I've said hello to you. Oh, our church, I've said hello to you. Lou Di 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 Fiore? Di Fiore? Di Fiore? Di Lou. How you, how you doing? Hey, all right. Um, from the States, uh, clean as fuck coils. Hi. Um, what are we rubbing a vaping bike? Like? Well, a little bit of foam. Um, <laughs> our church hit the thumbs up. Oh, stream seems to have gone up again. That's good. Um, hi, Dean. Hitting Nanda, I think. I think that's how you say it. Constantinos, uh, hello to you as well. Uh, Dean Feeney, I said hello to you. Hello. Uh, what's up, Biker? New subscriber here. Hello, Fats2009. Uh, Thank you very much for being a new subscriber. Very kind of you. Um, always welcome here. So pull up a vape and a cup of tea and put your feet up and uh, and chill out for a while with us. Um, Gareth Martin, Thomas Grimaldi. It's a great surname. Is there a chef called Grimaldi? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> Mech Monster, hello from Dulleth, Minnesota. Dulleth, Dulleth, is that really a place? That's amazing. Um, <laughs> what else have we got? Hi, greets from Belgium, me Smoky. Hello, uh, Mike Craftsman, room Schwarzy, Mr. Schwar. Hello, sir. Are you, am I outstanding a review from you? I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, Darren James, say hello to me and my wife Louise. Hello, Darren and Louise. How are you this Monday night? I hope you're well. Um, <laughs> clean as fuck cause. I said hello to you, Stephen Brentnell, uh, Jim Old from uh, Dundee, Graham Vincent, uh, Lois Eek. Don't rub the microphone. Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Lassie, uh, nice that the Monday Night Live is back. Thank you very much indeed. It's been something that I've wanted to bring back really for, 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 for the last few weeks, but just haven't been able to for one reason and another. So there we go. Um, what we got going on? Hey, shout out from New York. Hello, Thomas Grimaldi from New York. How you doing? Uh, Spluck it. The sound is much better tonight. That's because I figured out this. For the, the system, I had to make I had to make this going through my mixer, the default um microphone on the computer and then then it all worked uh what else we got spluck it uh yeah i've just said hello to you i think but hello just in case i know you just made that comment i think tonight could be one of those very confusing vlogs <laughs> <laughs> Meg Monster, David Kanita, uh, Laszlo Gal from Hungary. Hello, Hungary. Hello, hello, Laszlo. Uh, I hope that's how you say your name. Tim Daw, Andy Fairchild. Uh, what else have we got? Jeff Taus, Lou, Lou. I've said hello to you, Lou. There's a bunch of you in here. Thank you very much. I saw someone from Cape Town then. Who was that? Who was that? Let me scroll back. We've got Andrew Wilts from St. Louis in the USA. Thank you very much. Heidi from West Virginia. Ashley, thank you very much for joining us. I think I've scrolled up too far. I've scrolled up too far. Bugger. Um, I can't, I didn't see who that was. Uh, Massillon, Ohio. America's got some really strange named towns. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I it constantly is a, is a surprise. I mean, England isn't much better to be fair, but you know, um, uh, Hackney, some was from Hackney cause they went Hackney, Hackney, Hackney. So, uh, that's it. Uh, ja Jan Valerts, Jan. Hello. How you doing? Uh, from Belgium. Oi, oi, Dean. How we doing, mate? Hello from Cambridge. Hello, Daniel Sewell Carter. Thank you very much indeed. Um, triple X vapes. Hello, triple X. Nice to see you back. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Airville, Pennsylvania. Um, hey, saturation. What is that a person? <laughs> What did we have an overly saturated stream? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> uh, Dave Smithson, uh, more Yorkshire. I love over here. Eddie is in from Eastbourne. Hey, Eddie, how are we doing? I hope you and the, uh, the, 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 the good lady are fine and dandy. Um, what have we got going on here? Hello from Zurich. Very posh. Just anyone from Zurich. I don't care who you are or what you do. It just sounds posh. If you say, yeah, I'm, I'm from Zurich. It just goes like, fuck yes. <laughs> uh, Grand Rapids, MI. Is that Michigan? Is that Michigan? Uh, Benjamin, hello. Thank you very much. James R. Ashford, Wales, isn't it? <laughs> um, how are we doing, James? Nice to see you. Um, Oklahoma City, okay, chime in. All right, Max, how are you going on? Nice to see you. Um, another minute or two of this. Um, uh, Darren, I'm well, she's got five at the moment, and so not good at the mo. Eddie, uh, what have we got? Just five. Has, has, has anyone who's got five bros have been messed up by the kind of the onset of winter at the start of this year? Because it's kicked my ass a little bit. Hello, Dean from Olympia, Washington, USA. B Rad, B Vapen, and Pure. No, that's not how you say your name. P, -p, -p um, P I O T R. Hello. <laughs> is that kind of, is that a Polish way of saying Peter? Maybe. Could be, possibly. Hello. Anyway, Mr. Kaz, thank you very much for uh, for joining me. Um, what else have we got? Hello from New York. One stars. Um, woof, that's just gone all crazy. Biker, about, no, where about are you in the UK? I wonder. I'm in near Norwich in the east of England. So I'm on the kind of the arse bit of the UK. Hey, from Somerset, Ollie Reeves. Um, uh, someone asked for a shout out. James O'Meara, shout out from Phoenix, Arizona. Hello. That's, that's going to be a bit warm, I imagine, over there at the moment. Uh, Schwarzy, yeah, it feels like that, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> Paul London, hello from Galston, my old stomping ground. God, those were the days, those were the days. Cool, <laughs> used to work on the doors at the Cliff Hotel on a Thursday night. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> what else have we got going on? Zurich, Switzerland again. Uh, uh, yeah, if you translate it into English, it's Peter. Fuck Yes, I got it right. Excellent, well done, me. Right. Good. Now, someone's putting their actual coordinates in there. Does that mean that I could come into your house now? I know where you live, Dave Smithson. Is that is that a thing? Can I just put that into Google Maps and then I'll just turn up at your house one day and go, boo, get, get along. 
<laughs> right then 5 a.m in here in the philippines hello graham bennett um right so let's have a little go i can't say hello to absolutely everybody but thank you so much for uh for joining me now let me know let me know if you like the dark or the light dark dark and cuddly light and making my hair look gray let me know which one you prefer um always nice to know and it is you like the new haircut you like the haircut that's been a thing now so <laughs> oh rather happy with that now then what am i vaping on the, no in fact fuck it not planned this one at all so this is going to be a bit of a free form one can't remember what i showed you last time cannot remember so um i if i if i repeat myself i do apologize i'm sorry about that um here we go look we're getting a load of people going Oof, dark light dark light Whoa, oh, there's 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 oh it's it's a it's a fair old mix it's a fair old mix going on there i think the light could be could be winning it i think people are going for the light so let's let's see the light there we go um Right. What's been going on? What's been happening? So um, obviously over the Christmas period and the start of the new year, there was a break from the Monday Night Lives. I think I did do a live stream. Was it last week? Maybe the week before? I can't remember. Um, so, uh, yeah, that happened and and uh, it was OK. But um, it, it, it was it was meant to be just sort of a reasonably quick one. I did my live stream on Saturday excuse me i got windy pops i just nicked a cup of tea um about on saturday i think it was about the about the tanks about my sort of opinion about the tanks and also showing off the uh, the bravo and what i thought of the bravo and uh, we might come back to that a little bit later on when mr todd comes and joins us because i'm interested to to have a little bit of a chat with him about that so i'm still talking about the light and dark tell you what i'll just i'll just turn it off every now and again <laughs> <laughs> just to make it look like half the studios had a power cut um now then um uh, what have we had in so um i did show you ages ago about this this uh box from dolph po um which is they they've done something else in collaboration with the with one vp.me which is the same as they did with that little little atomizer that i really really liked ages ago now that was that last year or was that even the year before can't remember but um that was really cool and they've done these now this was a pre-production one i've had this for ages and um i got in the actual production ones recently so i will be doing a review on these at some point just as a as a sort of a banger and once again we can have a little chat with mark later about what he thinks of this as well but uh for for just a kind of a super basic variable voltage mechanical off switch none of this five clicks on and off business um it's uh it's not actually too bad it's a bit of a weird shape to get used to, but once you're into it you're into it i think it works kind of well so that's the thing i've got a little little cup of orange squash i'll just pop that down here <laughs> um what else have we got now i did get in a bunch of stuff now um for those of you that don't know when i do my um when i do my uh patreon i do my i do a patreon live stream every time i get stuff in so my ten dollar tier and above um all gets to see kind of first impressions and all that sort of shit um so um i've got a bunch of stuff in that I've shown to to those people, but I've not I've either not unpacked it or I've not uh, I've not I've not put it together because it just holds absolutely no interest with me. So um, it's been a bit of a funny one because I have been uh, putting a lot of stuff on. Uh, um to the side burner so i've been turning a lot of stuff down mainly because i've got so much stuff in my review queue because there hasn't been that much content going out that um i need to get on top of that above and beyond everything else so once i'm on top of everything else then i'll be accepting more things in but like i said on the tank stream what i'm aiming to achieve is i'm aiming to do kind of two or three product reviews a week and then and then get back to doing kind of a, a tutorial and all that sort of good stuff now and then so that's my my, that's my aim as well as the monday night live of course um but that's my uh that's my uh that's my possible that's my hope anyway um nebulaskin isn't it isn't possible to upgrade the stream quality man no 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 um i tried that a little while ago i've got my stream status according to youtube is okay but not brilliant and i imagine if i try and up the uh, quality um to hd whoop some of that happens but i imagine oh let's see we've lost we've lost all manner of 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 excitement um that should be a better quality stream now but 
I don't know. It might create some uh, some uh, buffering. So let me know. Let me know how we end. Oh, is Addy Tuney in the room? And Corgut's in the room. Hello, Addy. Hello, Corgut. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, what else have we got? So, yes, no, I was saying that uh, I'm aiming to get shit together now. Um, it looks as though things are all working out nicely, which is good. Um, I've got my I've got my cage. I've got a cage around me at the moment. And I've got my nice big old drop down camera going on up here currently. Um, I've got lighting all attached to this cage and everything else, which helps massively for for me when I'm doing my um, up close stuff. Because I literally just got to turn the camera on and boom, we're going. Um, so that's uh, that's it's going to help me massively getting products out and uh, stuff when I'm, when I'm not feeling overly clever. Um, and also one of the other things, just going back for a second, I really want to get back into doing my sort of creative and fun intros and stuff. Cause I used to like those. I did a little bit of one with my iconic review and I really enjoyed doing some edity bits and bobs. So I want to kind of get back to doing things like that. Um, I doubt anyone gives a shit to be honest, but it makes me happy. So there we go. Um, what else? How's the doggy? The doggy is marvellous. Thank you very much, Jezza. She's, we took three days over the weekend to give her a haircut. Three days. And she's still looking choppy as you like. I'll see if I can show you a picture while I'm here. Um, but uh, but no, I did show a picture on the uh, on the live stream the other day. But uh, I'll do it now just because I know there's lots of people that like the pooch. Uh, quite rightly so as well. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where the flipping heck? Oh, I see I've just turned the, the, the brightness down. And uh, and now I can't see what I'm doing. Hold on, hold on. This is this is professional viewing right here. Um, I can't show you. I can't show you. It's going to take far too long to mess about and get this done. Uh, no, but I've now got it in my head, and it's a thing. And now I'm kind of not looking at the the screen. And oh god. Um, right. There we go. You see that? There we go. That was a picture of her looking up. <laughs> so bless her cotton socks she's a happy little pooch and everyone's a winner um so anyway right let's get back to vaping shall we let me have a vape let me have a vape first and foremost marvelous so stuff that's come in i told you i know i told you about the me pods and all that sort of malarkey ages ago um so i have been using the mirage i've had the mirage for bloody ages um and uh, i've been using this now and i've obviously got the bravo tank on top of that at the moment um i i like it i still like the dna 75c board i'm still just remembered that i still haven't put my <laughs> I've been biker theme up on the website. So I will make sure I, uh, I, I I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to say I'm going to do it because I will, but just whenever I make plans, it all goes. To, I made plans to record my review of the Advocen Arthur um, RDA today. Can I find the box? No, no, it's literally gone poof, gone. <laughs> uh, so vape a ZA all the way from uh, from sunny South Africa. And Addy Tuney, I give a, oh, what? <laughs> That's cropped up. I didn't see that. Uh, uh, I, I owe some Louisiana banjo for an intro. What? I give a shit. Oh, you give a shit. Right. I see where you're going now. I see what you're talking about. Um, right. So that's that was a thing that happened. Um, I've talked to you. I talked about uh, the Revo tank with those Revo coils from Aspire that uh, that Vandy Vape are now copying with their with their whatever tank that yeah, which whatever RDTA thing that isn't a rebuildable um is it this is it this the maze the maze sub ohm thing these disc these disc kind of coil things look, look like kind of pancake coils um or like the pancake version of the notch coils i think are awful i despise them with a passion so uh, that was that um what else have we got i have got on my uh, on my moon box which i'm still rocking still enjoying thing is great uh, on top of here i have got the Phobia from Vandy Vape and um, and uh, um, Alex from Vapers MD. So uh, so yeah, having a good old vape with that. It's an interesting one. I'm looking. I still haven't got it in squonk mode yet. I'm looking forward to squonking it. Um, the uh, the logo does look very much like the Offspring logo. Remember the band, the Offspring? Looks massively like that. But um, I'm, I I still think this box is fantastic. Be, just because it's so old school, I love it because of that. Um, but but the RDA can be a little bit leaky if you're not careful with your dumping your juice down there but uh, but no otherwise seems to be seems to be working fine and dandy 
So, boom, there you go. Have some of those apples. Uh, what else have I got in front of me? Obviously, I did show you in the past about the uh, the Vanguard because I've had these for, uh, for a while now, the Vanguard and the Spade. The Spade has been taken apart into a million bits today so that was desperately scary um but uh, i took that all apart to find out exactly how that works so i'm ready for the review that's getting recorded tomorrow so that's going to be cool um have i thrown the daedalus in the bin asks jeff no i haven't actually just before this evening's live stream I've, i just threw together some uh, just some fused claptons i used 30 I went a bit bigger with 35, 36 gauge Clapton wire going around the dual core 26 gauge. And uh, and that that it kind of had a little bit of a stick to start with until I put some more pressure on the nuts. <laughs> and then um, that seemed to work fine and dandy. So, yeah, that's the thing. It's it's working. But I'm still having some issues. The, the reason you haven't seen the reviews, I'm still having a couple of issues. And I, I'm I'm starting to lose patience with it a little bit. So, yeah, it's not quite there. Um, but uh, I did really lose patience with something yesterday, which I'll go into momentarily. Uh, what else have I got here? Obviously, I've done the Dreamer review since Christmas. I've done the, uh, the Iconic review and I've done something else. I've got a bad stream again. Oh, God. <laughs> I've been to that shit. Um, what's going on here? Uh, da, 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 da. That worries me because it comes up with, with red on the YouTube streaming thing. It goes red and just goes bad, <laughs> which is terrifying. Anyway, what else have we got going on? Um, I'm still having a good old play with uh, with this thing from All Grape, which is still a very strange shape. But you know what? It's it's a kind of a. I'm sure I've told you about this before, but you adjust things with the with the button going on there, and it's got kind of a hidden fire button. And uh, I think Rip put a review up on this recently. I think possibly, um, but uh, it's it's a weird shape. It's it's shaped like a like a flight case, and this kind of seam thing that goes on down here isn't the most comfortable in your hand at the bottom there. However, as far as a dual battery little uh, little bang goes it's uh, it's it's not terrible it's not terrible i don't think but more testing to be done on that one um what else have we got what else have we got i did get and i don't i think i've i've told people this one hang on um that didn't make my boob wobble ended it no um this is the ijoy diamond and uh it is it is not it is not a diamond um i i pfft. I think I've shown you, but uh, just for shits and giggles, let's get into it once again. Um, let me put, get a couple of 18650s just for shits and giggles. First of all, it's the biggest condoms in the world ever you've ever seen in your life. So they're nice. Um, we'll get them batteries in here and then I can show you what I'm talking about with this because, you know, this is YouTube after all, and it tends to be quite the visual medium. <laughs> so we've got big old magnets holding this on there like so which is great and no thumb thing to be able to take the side door off again so that's 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 awesome um we've got this kind of really sort of polished not polished but kind of see-through but not see-through plastic on the front and back like like we've seen on the vaporesso thing that revenger kit and uh even the uh, the screen doesn't look too dissimilar from the Revenger kit either. Um, and I, I, I'm i not a fan of this. You've got a slightly raised section that goes over the top of the 510, which you can kind of see there. And uh, so nothing sits flush on it. Um, but uh, I think that I think I had a couple of issues with this and I can't remember what they were. Can you hear that? It's just rattly. These buttons down here loose as you like not a fan of that at all um it's a big mod and I, you know generally i quite like big mods but because of this clear business on the front there it's just a fingerprint magnet and i i don't like it at all it's not getting a review um and there's no battery fucking thing so you have to smack it like fucking oh smacking batteries in this time day and age i ask you bad batteries um so anyway so that's those uh what else have we got what else have we got i got some uh i got some uh some of the new drops in of late and that sort of sexy blue color there that does look the tits doesn't it um that also comes with uh, like a gold one it comes in a bunch of colors comes in a bunch of colors go on to uh, go on to their website for that bad boy but uh no i'm i'm very much in, i like the drop anyway and having these uh, new pretty colors make it just a little bit sexy it's totally not matchy matchy and that's kind of on purpose 
<laughs> and the reason for that is because I was desperately upset yesterday and desperately annoyed. Um, now then, what else have we got? I'm using the EOS from the people that brought out the Luna. Remember the Luna? That squonker that I really liked. Um, they, I, I have shown you this before, but this is pretty much due for review now. Um, it's got the uh, Asmodus board going in there. So we've got the Asmodus touchscreen going on. Not a huge fan of the uh, the wood in all honesty, not a, not a massive fan of that. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, there's, because I'm kind I'm not getting, and I'm going to ask Mark about this later on as well, but I'm not getting kind of bored with vaping, but there's a lot of products that seem so similar these days. And it's just been nice to be able to have that kind of new shit come out again. Anyway, the mod seems to work fine and it's all fine and dandy. If you like the kind of the doors on it, I think you might be able to get replaceable doors. Can you do it for both sides? I think you might be able to. Yes, you can. Um, so, you know, if you want to put doors on them, then jobs are good. And everyone's a winner. Now, this, if you know anyone that does stuff with, uh, with uh, wood, um, then uh, somebody needs to be able to figure out a manufacturing process in the UK or in America that does nice kind of stab wood or resin or funky doors for things like this, not just your high-end gear, but uh, I think a couple of people did them for the Pulse, um, and I would love to see some more for this kind of thing as well, just to give people more options. I mean, even kind of, even if you got sort of the right size Perspex and then had it engraved, you know, so you had a kind of a, like a white background and that like a red thing going on with the, with an engraved kind of horns up or anything just let's let's if 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 the manufacturers aren't being creative let's as a community try and do some creative shit i think that would be cool i think that would be cool but uh yeah let me know and if anyone does do anything like that please do let me know now then i will be looking at um uh, uh, at chat properly in a, in a few minutes, but if I don't get out what I need to, what I need to say, then, uh, I will have absolutely no fucking idea what I'm talking about. We'll get horribly lost and we'll still be here this time tomorrow night. Um, so what else we've got going on? I've been rocking the, uh, the, the dead rabbit, the 22 mil, one of those bad boys. Um, and something that turned up recently. Look at that look. No, it's not a Geek Vape um, G Box. It's the uh, it's the iJoy Capo Two One Six Squonker. And uh, it, this is an interesting one. I was kind of interested to see this for a couple of reasons. One, um, one because the original Capo was so like uh, stylistically, it was quite cool. I think it looked quite cool, but it, it had its issues. Excuse me. So I'm rather I was hoping that this one would look cool and not have any issues. And I was wrong. Um, what we've got going on here at the moment is I started to use or I tried to start. Mm, I tried to use this yesterday. I think it was yesterday. But the problem with this was I kind of I, I it does come with an RDA and they've sent me an RDTA as well. Um, the RDA is one of these things where you can change out the coils and all that. And they're, they're kind of pre-built coils, ones that you don't know have been kind of pre-glowed and you don't know what the cotton or the, the wicking material is and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that that's frustrating. So um, I stuck the nudge on because I unboxed the nudge 22 this morning for uh, for, for, for the Patreon people. And now I thought, no, we'll, we'll crack on with this one. Now you'll see that the bottle is the black one and not, not this one. Now this bottle that they come up with, I believe this was in the original one as well. Now the problem with this, hang on, I'm going to need, I'm going to need some stuff. The problem with this, as I found out yesterday, is what they've done is they've made kind of the outside bit is a like a silicon material, and then the then the the bit that sort of frames it is a much harder plastic, uh, which is you know if you want to do that, then crack on. But the, what they've done here, and when I tried to uh, when I tried to 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 squonk with it, um, this kind of hang on, I'm trying to make I'm trying to recreate it, which isn't very easy with one hand. Hang on, hang on, can I can I stop there? No, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it one handed. Right. Hang on. There we go. Boom. Now, did you see what happened there? Now, obviously, I didn't squeeze this this hard yesterday. But what happened is you'll see that right there at the bottom now, we don't have a lid. Well, we don't have a, a base because that's here. 
Um, and what actually happened was I was I was uh, I was trying to squonk away quite happily. This base was not tight, so it didn't come out all the way. However, it did dump half a bottle of juice when I was trying to squeeze it because I was squeezing it in the in the mod and looking there and going, well, where's all the fucking juice? What's going on here? And then. I was like, oh, well, it, why is the, the bottle wet? That's not good. So then uh, then I pulled out the door, which also, by the way, is wobbly as you like, um, pulled off the door, and then half a bottle of juice just went <laughs> every fucking way. Um, so, yes, whoever thought, let's make a bottle that you squeeze have a removable bottom. That'll be the way forward. That's bound to work. Just oh, it annoyed me so, so much. Now, looking at it, um, I believe... I had a quick look online, and I think, Mick, I don't know if you're in chat at the moment, but I think you had issues with yours as well. Um, and uh, I believe the original Capo Squonka had the same bottle, and other people had similar issues. So I contacted iJoy yesterday, and they came back to me this morning going, well, we haven't had any problems. Can you make a video showing us exactly what your problem is? Fucking what? I've just, I literally explained everything about, you know, what, what, what happened and how, uh, mm, how can you not explain? I squonked the bottom came off the bottle, boom, juice everywhere. How, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so that's, that was a thing that annoyed me greatly. I did not, I did not, I did not end up being a happy chappy at that point. Um, so uh, today what I did is I put the black bottle in there, which is very similar to the bottles that you get with the, with the Kangas and all that sort of stuff, but it is slightly different. So um, there we go. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, the, 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 What's it called? Fire button is on this side. Big honk, a great big fire button. You can see there. You've got the uh, you've got the up and down wattagey jobbies going on there, um, and uh, yeah, I mean it feels it feels very similar to the uh, the the geek vape one. Although obviously the geek vape one's got the fire button up here, and this is definitely definitely designed as a finger fire as a trigger fire. So there we go. That's the thing. Now this nudge of oh, all. This nudge, this nudge thing is going to be an interesting one. I, uh, that is definitely something I need to speak to Mark about. Um, right. Uh, Mike Vapes, is Mike in the house? If he is, hello, Mike. Mike actually did a fantastic um, video that I saw yesterday, maybe, where he's got one, he's, he's hacked one of these, and I think he's done the same to the Wismic squonker the new one of those where um yeah he shows you how you can fit other bottles into uh into the geek vape and all that sort of stuff which i think is really really good so um that was a great video from mr mike vapes there so go and check that out if you've got the geek vape thing or you've got that new wismic thing coming over so uh yeah go and check those bad boys out let me have a little uh little vapey poos yeah we're starting to get dry Hang on, I'll be right with you. I put three and a half mil coil in this. Big bastard. I think this Nudge 22 looks just ridiculous with a with a big old chuff cap on it, but uh, or chuff style cap. But there you go. Thank you very much, Mick. But no, no, thank you very much for offering me a uh, spare bottle for the capo. Nope, if it doesn't work, it will go in the bin. <laughs> simple as that um so uh there we go um now then what else what else is there anything else new i'm sure there's new stuff yesterday when i was super annoyed i ended up making myself some sort of cola flavored e-liquid and uh and uh i've made some some uh, i've not tried these yet which i'm very excited about from a company called the flavory um they do a strawberry milkshake flavor which apparently tastes like strawberry yazoo so if you're in the uk you'll probably know what that tastes like so i'm looking forward to doing that and this one is the chef's chef's chefs something or other i think they're available at vapable.co.uk.com can't remember um and that's a lemon tart and it's possibly the yellowest i mean that actually looks like <laughs> like lemon curd so i'm looking forward to uh to trying that bad boy and then uh in this in this beast i've got some uh, i actually did proper mixing and uh and uh, i'm working on a kind of a black currant gummy bear so we'll see how that goes uh once that comes through so what else have we got going on? There's, there's a bunch of stuff going on. There's a bunch of stuff happening in chat. It keeps moving. Um, da, 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 da. 
Um, I'm just having a little scroll up and scroll up. Uh, um, yes, yes, yes. No, nope, don't know. So uh, no, um, well done for Mike for doing his uh, for, for doing his his uh, um, hack videos because I think they're really good. I remember I used to be able to do things like that, and uh, now I'm an idiot and I can't. So, what have we got to talk about this evening? I think we're good. I think we're good. You know, I think we're good. Do you want to see my? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to do a studio tour at some point in time when it's tidier. Um, there's a whole bunch of shit going on here. There is a whole bunch of shit going on here. But seeing as I can't remember what I have told you about and what I haven't, um, I think we can move on to the next portion of the uh, of the vlog, I think. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> um, right. Let's uh, let's uh, do some of that. And boom. He's there. He's not turned his microphone on. Look, but there, he, can you see him? I don't know. See, when we're doing these hangouts, you can see each other in the corner, and I don't know if it, if it comes out when you do a live stream when there's only two of you. Can can could you give me a warning? Just no. at least give me a countdown when I have to. I could have been picking my nose, scratching my ass. I could have been doing anything. I was rather hoping you were. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. But if I give you warning, I mean, I, there was a build up there. There was a build up, so you know, it's not my. Just take a hint. Yeah, I, don't, I, I had you on mute the whole time. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. well, thank you very much for uh, for coming on again. It's nice to come back on a Monday night, isn't it? It is. It feels like it's been weeks. Well, it has been weeks, I suppose, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been forever. Um, but uh, no, there we go. Well done for coming back. Thank you very much for looking after chat, making sure that no one's being a knobhead. Um, and uh, let, let's let's get straight into this. The Watofo nudge. 22 mil i've yes i just have to address this before we go any further yes i have dyed my hair again thank you for pointing that out <laughs> there with tofu nudge uh, on the roots the gray bits right at the base there you should have cut sort of I, just, yeah i've got to leave a little bit in just in case uh <laughs> just just you know it's anyway can we go on to something else please? Well, it just looks like you've been hitting the face with a snowblower and it's just put snow around here carry on carry on <laughs> Listen, I can go into the house and get this abuse. I don't have to stay out here. <laughs> um, yes, uh, so that's uh, an 18650 Wapari squonker with the nudge on top. And 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 I've got, the, don't know if you've said already, because obviously you were on mute, but um, it comes with two top caps. It's a single coil and it's got the worst O-rings in the world it's, no, it's you see it's interesting that one because I, my o-rings aren't oh no actually they're not great um but i don't think they're quite as loose as yours i can't uh, uh, I, oh no i can't hold i can't hold the, the the mod but um one of the things that has really done me on this when i built it on the uh, on the patreon stream earlier um was the fact that the clamps now because you're a, a, a single single wire generally kind of guy unless you're being yeah. and use some pre-mades how did you get on coiling this uh very easy really yeah because yeah i mean it's just that it's a fuse clapton that's in it and it went in no problem at all right because what i found is um i put in my normal dual 26 gauge core with the 38 gauge on the outside and as i was tightening it down the wire slipped in between the screw and the and the inside of the post. Yes, but that that happened with the dual coil nudge as well. Yes, uh, it would do that. So one would imagine they may have learned from that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean that's and and just Schwartz has just pointed out. Um, listen, it's it comes with a five ten drip tip adapter as well. I mean, I've got a five ten drip tip on mine. Yeah. Um, and it comes with um, two top caps, um, yeah. one slightly restricted and one slightly restricted. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice that the slightly more restricted one. It's still a. It's it, it, we're still nowhere near a mouth to lung, are we? But we. But it's um. It's uh, um. 
got a, a, a hint of restriction there. Now, what I've not done is I've not tried turning the top cap to see how if if they've restricted it because you can't really do it. No, you can't. <gasps> Have you tried yes. turning the top cap? Yeah, it's the same as the the bigger nudge. You can't turn it because <laughs> it's just um, the yes. bigger one. You could turn to a degree, but then it would like about halfway off. It would then open up the other side. But this one with the big hole on it, you can do fuck all with it. You you can. I've I've got the slightly restricted top cap in my one, and you can turn it down just a tiny little bit. But even at that, it's it's not bad actually. I mean, it's got yeah. a nice restriction to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I agree with that absolutely, but it just it's it's a bit weird. I mean, with this one, let me see if I can get the if I throw the focus out like so. Um if I uh just move that a little bit, there we've opened up the other end as well. Yeah. There is literally nowhere to go. So kind of um there you can see that on this side the the side of the post is happening. There's the air hole fully open, and then we're starting to open up again on this side. So it's 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 the the bigger cap is certainly not an adjustable. No, I, I, don't get don't give it. I mean, it's it's cheap as it's cheap as chips, and yes. I am getting good flavour from this. Uh, but I think they missed a trick by not having a single airflow option. Yes. Now, were you watching my Patreon stream? I said that to the Patreon people. I actually spent some time looking for looking for a, a, a bung or something and then had the brain fart that it's obviously a single coil RDA <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, it was unlikely. But, um, but no, it would have been nice if they had managed to cut that down to just a single for sure. Um, <clears throat> Todd, cardigan by Giacomo tonight? It's a bit harsh, isn't it? That's uh, that that that. Uh, do you know that would probably be quite insulting? I, I, but I don't know who Giacomo is. Sorry, no, I've, got, I've got my Giacomo cardi hanging up there. I was I've been wearing it all day. It's been marvelous. Made I'm, for I'm just, made for the larger, more voluptuous gentleman. Is it? Well, yeah. there's a good chance it could be then. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody did ask a little while ago, Hadley or B two K. I can't remember who asked that one. However, I think they're both fantastic RDAs, but I do think bang for your buck the B2K has has more on offer. As far as the vape quality, I don't think there's a massive amount in it. What do you think? Uh, I'd, I'd, I personally, I'd go for the Hadley because yeah. it's, it's the way you, you don't have to put... I think with the B2K, you have to put bigger, chunkier coils in, which is is the, is what everybody does now anyway. But uh, for old farts like me that maybe like a bit more restriction and... I think it would suit them better. I think yeah. you get better flavour out of the Hadley, but that's just my opinion on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think they're both. I think they're both cracking. But like you say, I think they do possibly tailor more for different people for different um, requirements. Yeah, I mean, it's still it's from last year, and and this year. I mean, bank like you say, bang for buck. It was really, yeah, they knocked it out of the park. They they did completely. Yeah. Um, there's. I'm just going to up yeah. my sharpness a little bit because your sharpness looks as though you're wearing eye makeup. So I'm kind of going going hard on mine as well. To, but mine makes it look, you can see my bangs under my eyes a little bit more there. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, but I, I, I am wearing eye makeup. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't think I just stop with the hair dye, do you? <laughs> I'm in the theatre, darling. <laughs> going on stage shortly. Where's makeup? Cool. <laughs> Dean, are you still rocking the Dreamer Mech mod? And Todd, have you got one? Um, yes, I am. I've got the copper one right here. You can see that that's patinaed, um, but uh, I'm still rocking that with the uh, copper challenge cap from uh, from um, uh, 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 ooh, Hellboat. And uh, I've got the stainless one here, which I think I showed off on something. Did I put a tank on this? I might put a tank on this on Saturday when I did my tank live stream. Um, you've got them as well. Have you? Is your yes, one for the dream yet? I've got the, I've got the copper one. It's um, here. Yeah. This is the copper one here. Yeah. Right. Um, actually, I just I recorded the review for it this afternoon, but I'm posting it off as a gift to somebody. So um, it's it, I, I gush over it. Yeah. Just, yeah, I gush over it in the review. It's it's very good, very good. 
I agree. And for under a hundred pounds, quite considerably under a hundred pounds in, in some places, I think it's, I think once again, value for money wise is sterling. It's fantastic. Yes, totally agree. Excellent. Um, now there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Oh yes. Oh yes. I wanted to talk to you about this, this thing from uh, Dovpo and one VP because mainly, and it's not just to point out the fact that when you did a live stream, you called it the one VP dot ME mod. Yes. You know, but it's not. It's not called that at all. It's called the V. Yeah, well, it's, it's made by 1VP.me. <laughs> yes, it is. It is indeed. But 1VP.me is a channel or it's a website. Hang on just a second. Uh, there we go. Um, sorry, somebody being a smart arse. Uh, mm. Yeah, I mean, this is the, the same crew that did this. Yes, that I couldn't remember the name of that. That that was the one VP. Was it? Yes. <laughs> ah, got there in the end then. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I mean, I, I talk about this sometimes in my videos and just saying that I was going to swear there. I apologise. Okay. Um, so you're, you're allowed to swear on YouTube. You just it it has to be contextual. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I shall rephrase what I'm going to say. For people that don't like fucking about with menus, this is brilliant. Um, and, I mean, I, I say a lot that at the end of the day, rather than messing about with menus and things like that, when you put a new tank on, turn the wattage right down and then turn it up a step at a time until you get the taste, the vape that you want. Yes. And that's where this device comes in because there's bugger all to mess about with. You just adjust the voltage and that's it. Yeah. Nothing yeah. else. Um, it's, it's nice to have that kind of old school vibe, but but once again helps kind of get people back into the idea of of adjusting to taste rather than being too stuck on numbers about kind of oh I want to vape at X amount of wattage. Yes. I, I, I totally it's it's maybe not the the fashionable thing these days to just have I mean, there's that's the thing. You know yourself, there's probably going to be a lot of people that may get this now and go, well, what's what's variable voltage? Yeah. <laughs> They've probably yeah. never heard of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I think it's but I think it's it's it feels like it could be a reasonably durable mod, um, but something you could just throw in your pack pocket and have confidence that you're not going to turn it on because of that mechanical switch that's on there. And I think that's yeah. that's quite a good little thing for that. It, it, it does have the styling and the feel. It does it does feel a wee bit Mickey Mouse, to be honest. But, yeah, it doesn't feel expensive, does it? But um, if I was if I was into fishing or golf, then I would quite happily throw this into a bag and, and take this <laughs> with. <laughs> Why would you need it for fishing? Well, it's 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 got to be roughy tufty. And <laughs> <laughs> a fisherman, a roughy tufty, is that what he's saying? Doing that, okay. <laughs> And then afterwards, they just kind of put the rod down and kick fuck out of each other. So they need something hardcore. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's you've just summed up fishing on the west coast of Scotland. <laughs> that is what fishing in the west coast of Scotland is all about. <laughs> uh, it's about buying a crate of tenants lager, taking a roughy tufty mod with you, and the, the the fishing comes last. You know, <laughs> the fishing comes last. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me happy. Um, <clears throat> what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not. There, I think there was something else. Can't remember what it was. I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, now, somebody did mention in chat about the. Uh, let me have a little scroll up and see if I can see who that was. Um, Raven Johnson, Dean, and Todd. What are your opinions on the SQ Squonk by Signature Tips? Is it worth getting? Um, I didn't get one because um, uh, I just didn't. I didn't get one kind of early doors. And then at Expo, they said that I could have one. And uh, I, I didn't go back to pick one up, to be honest. So I, I didn't get hold of one. Um, what about you? You've had one and reviewed it, haven't you? Yeah, I had one of the first ones. Um, and then it's good. It's good. The, the, the only issue, and I don't know if they've changed it, I honestly don't know, but the the only issue with it was that it was um you had to manually adjust the five ten pin on it. So sometimes if you screwed your atty on, took it off and went and put it back on, the five ten pin had moved down a little bit and it wouldn't fire. Um I don't know if they've changed that. That that was my only criticism. It's an excellent little squonker. It really is. Yeah. 
Yeah, everybody I know that's that's had one reckon that it's a sort of quite a hard hitter as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting into that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I believe what they've done now, rather than what they used to do with kind of like pre-orders and stuff, they actually make them and then sell what they've made. So they don't do that pre-order stuff anymore. So that makes me very happy as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the guys, they did go, they invested a lot of money into their own CNC machines and whatnot. So... Yes, uh, as uh, sorry, Ian Bachelor Williams is saying that it's still a manual five ten, and uh, Schwartz is saying it would be perfect with a mod maker five ten. And there are people you should I nah, bugger it, I'll say it. You can actually convert it, uh, put a mod maker five ten in, but it's not a straight replacement. You have to modify it just a little bit. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it it is it is a thing. There was there was another mod that I came up against um, recently. I think it was or heard about or something that had an adjustable, and people are as in manually adjustable. And I think a couple of people are going back to them because of a sort of a more of a solid contact, particularly on a squonker. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you know yourself. I mean, I've got the voltage testing rig up there and whatnot, and. For me, I mean, as low as I go, if I'm being really, if I've been talking to you for too long, I may go to 0 0.2, but I don't notice a difference. I, I really don't notice a difference. I mean, for people that go down below 0 0.2, it might matter, but to your, your average Joe, I don't think it does. Yeah. That's one of the things with my um, with my tests for the for the mix. I mean, there's kind of like point one or point two of a of a difference in in uh, in voltage, and a lot of people go, "Oh fuck, I want something that hits really hard all the time." And um, one of the reasons that I really like this uh, Dream Award mod, it wasn't the hardest hitting mod, but just as far as a mod goes, it works really fucking well. So I really really liked it. And it doesn't have to, because you'll just be, build a hint lower than you normally would, and you you get a similar sort of vape. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is fine. Um, Stuart Waters says, Dean, question when you're ready. I uh, Does that mean you've put a thing on there? Or not? I, I don't know. I don't know what's what's going on there. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, start them with at Vaping Biker or at Todd's Reviews. And, uh, and then if you can put your question all in uppercase, it does make things a little bit easier for us to see. So just so you're aware of that. Um, someone said, someone was saying that they wouldn't fuck about it with a uh, – Jared was saying, I wouldn't dare to fuck with a $200 mod. I'd cut my throat if I messed it up. I had a little bit of that feeling earlier tonight. You know what it's like when we, we decide that we're going to take a mod apart. They very rarely go back the way they should do. Yes. <laughs> I have broken many mods. Exactly. Many mods. And uh, I wasn't entirely sure. I thought I under I figured out how, uh, how this worked, and I was fairly sure I knew it, but I wanted to double-check before the review. So I took it all to pieces and then was like, yeah, these there's like three tiny little screws in here. I'm going to lose one of them. The thing's going to spin off. I didn't. I'm going to break it trying to take it apart. It's all going to go horribly wrong. But uh, no, I haven't. I haven't actually tried it again yet. But I imagine it's, it works. It looks like it should. <laughs> um, what RDA has better flavor, Phobia or Reload? I think both of them are very similar, even though they've got very different types of uh, of uh, of airflow. I think the phobia you do have to be a little bit more careful when you are dripping um as opposed to you do with the with the reload the reload yes the reload no recoil rebel i'm thinking about the reload I, the original reload i tried and i wasn't a huge fan but i haven't had the more recent one um vaping with josh wilson what's the best rta we get this every time every week we get this one and uh there isn't there is not a best anything it's always going to be very very dependent on your style of vaping what you like so um there, there's no best in anything in life so uh vaping is no different to that one um tc vapes that the spade vaping biker yes it certainly is my friend and it's a it's a lovely i really like the shape of this i really it's kind of it's a little bit bulbous on the sides much like my good self um and uh, i just it feels super comfortable in the hand it's tiny and uh, i do like this rather a lot um which cotton do you prefer i use whatever i use muji most of the time because it's cheap and i occasionally will put um cotton bacon in tanks what about you mr t uh my wife's face wipes <laughs> nice <laughs> with makeup and moisturizer or without 
yeah, I just take them out of the bin once she's done with them. And uh, yeah, they're awesome. Uh, no, uh, cotton bacon, v uh, cotton bacon, or just plain old Muji. Um, but uh, I also want to say to Matt English, he just posted that he took his stratum lux apart and lived. Now, if you've seen the stratum, it's one of the smallest regulated 18650 mods you can get. Yeah. Anybody taking one of them apart is nuts. Absolutely <laughs> nuts. <laughs> some may say that somebody that's bought pretty much all the velocity rdas on the planet could also be a bit nuts to be honest yes yes very true um <laughs> rebels don't blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. um there are so many amazing squonks out there but it seems like they're getting overshadowed by the pulse 24 bf kit what is your opinion on it I think it, you're looking at price-wise, Phantom Noob Gaming. I think on price, there's very few things that compete with the uh, with the Pulse Kit. To be honest with you, um, I think it, uh, I can't remember how much it is, but it's a it's a decent quality little thing. There is a little bit of voltage drop in there, but it's a it's a great usable um, affair that has kind of different options for doors. They do funky doors now for it and all that sort of good stuff. So I think there are a bunch of different options going on there. Um, Anything to say on that one? Because you've looked at the pulse. Sorry, so I was just... I totally agree with whatever my esteemed colleague just said. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the V-God as a starter mech for a newbie mech user? I've not had the V-God. I imagine you're talking about the newer one, the one with the bulbous thing and the big badge going on in the middle of it. Um, Thomas Brown, I've not tried it, so I couldn't really tell you. Although, if you are a new user to mechs, make sure that you do go on to things like Steam Engine, you know your battery safety. Go and check out Mooch's channel and, uh, and uh, yeah, get involved with that one and make sure you know what you're doing ahead of time rather than just going into it cold and going, oh, I'll, I'll figure it out as I go along. That's not the way you approach mechs. Um, talking of which, by the way, Mooch's channel on YouTube is under 12,000 subscribers, which is pitiful. It should be the most subscribed to. I mean, it's not been going very long, granted, but it should be the most subscribed to vaping channel on YouTube to uh, give us all information about batteries. So please, please do go ahead and uh, and find that and... Uh, and um, uh, subscribe to it, please. Thank you very much, yep. indeed. Uh, there's a there's a question. Something we were talking about earlier on. Go on. In. Uh, a strange man from Germany, uh, Guy Brush. Uh, the new scrape. We were discussing that this afternoon. We were. Do you want to kick off with that? Okay. Um, I got sent some scrape stuff from uh, from Chris uh, of quite a while ago now, and it's one of those <laughs> things that I just never got around to reviewing, and I've I've felt guilty as hell pardon me, about not reviewing for yonks. So I am going to go out and buy the new uh, the new scrape tank and I will review it and I will include the uh, the previous stuff in that video as well. So um, so I'll have a little bit of a scrape extravaganza. And who knows, if I ask him nicely, he might come on and do a little bit of an interview as well. But um, it's got some interesting things going on. It is, it's going back a little bit when it comes to the, the filling method because it's like a break apart and uh, and fill it up from the underneath like they used to be, which I think is a bit strange, but we'll have to see how that goes. Because in the past, and you might be able to correct me on this one, Mark, but I think that the scrapes, was it the scrapes that could be a little bit awkward to fill in underneath because the, the chimney was really close to the glass? You're absolutely correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be super interesting to see how that goes. Now, I don't know. I think it's 24. Is it 24 mil? They're normal squares are normally twenty-two. Yeah, so I don't know if this new one is a twenty-four or not. I don't know if it is. That'd be quite cool, but we'll have to see. So yeah, I'm going to buy that, and that will be a tank review that'll be on my channel. But Mr. Todd, what's your thoughts on it? Is is Chris watching? <laughs> He's not in at the moment. <laughs> He's, not, He's not here. Right. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a. Nah, I think it's a great thing he's doing. He's trying to make a more affordable scrape. But the fact that you're having to fill it from the bottom, I think, is a it's just a backward step in this day and age. Yeah, I think it really is. And even though it's cheaper, the fact that you still have to buy all these decks and mouth-along adapters and things, it comes with a mouth-along adapter, but other ones and things like that, it, it still, as a package, makes it quite... Pr I would... Uh, mm -hmm. 
would go and buy a second hand scrapey motion personally yeah um if it, other than the look i mean it looks completely different yes um, yeah it looks very very cool and i'm looking forward to seeing we when we spoke about it earlier on i was confused about why there was like a a silver looking ring underneath the the glass and i i'm not entirely sure but that looks as though that could be like an air adjuster i'm not i don't really know i don't know i've not really looked at it mate no really but there's there's kind of thing stuff on it that makes it makes it and that'd be quite cool if you get that because that uh generally with tanks you have to adjust the air at the bottom and that can be a gigantic pain in the hoop so uh, we'll have to see how that goes um can you recommend an affordable 22 mil mech mod asks andrew that depends on what affordable is to you andrew to be honest with you once again that's very very different you know you to get a decent decent quality mech mod you're not looking at spending 25 quid generally um so if you're going to be looking at for sort of 50 60 70 quid then uh, things like the dreamer stuff the the dreamers are great mods um the coil art one that i had uh, ages ago the the copper one with the with the black cerakote on the outside that i reviewed i thought that was great and that was that was pretty affordable um do you know anybody who 22 mil wasn't it he was after oh was he after 22 mil Oh, sorry, I thought you said 22 mil. Sorry, I may have no, got no, completely no. wrong. No, I don't. Oh, now you've got me confused. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but no, so if he weren't talking about 22, then there you go. That's my options. Uh, have you got any ideas? If it is 22, I would go and have a look at smartmods.pl. Um, oh. That's delivered to your door. That's about £48, and it's uh, an outstanding 22 millimeter mech. It's really yes. good and it's great value for money yes because this one that i've not got around to reviewing yet this is 24 isn't it yes yeah okay cool well there you go then that's an option and i'm just scroll back and he did say 22 so anything i said is low level shite so forget about me <laughs> um <clears throat> Uh, Vapor Biker Mix says, uh, just discovered the top insulator that comes with the Fogstar battery rewraps are sticky backs. No more blowing off with a hairdryer. Well, that's all right then. Well done. Ah. <laughs> um, Todd's reviews with all these batteries for vaping. Do you think 18650s will stop being standard and what will become the new standard? Now, he didn't ask me that. So it's all on you, this one. So I'm going to put the camera on you. And I'm not going to take the camera off you until you've answered it sufficiently. <laughs> you've not stuck <laughs> i can see it right <laughs> um i i've i've got a, a a box full of 21 700s and 2700 batteries there and any mod i have that takes a mix of the three batteries like the dreamer for example i'll still use an 18650 in it because the, the 18650s i have the are, are better I, or I, it's, yeah the ones i have just now are better um dean will know more about you know what's coming down the line but and, until they get decent 2700s 21700s the 18650s shall still be king and also because of the size me and personally the, the pure yeah. saturation i'm going to jump in there just because you, you can get an 18650 anywhere you can't get yeah. another size batteries anywhere yeah. and it's the size i mean i like small mods um and because you're using an 18650 it's going to be smaller uh, so that's that suits me but um yes I'll, I'll let the old fella ramble now sorry the ironic thing is there you've got honk and massive spade hands and and you like these dinky little mods i've got average size man hands and uh, and i like kind of big chunky mods so we've talked before about getting used to holding something big i suppose yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> have you seen the 24 mil death trap if so will you be reviewing it no one has reviewed it yet. i'm sure somebody's reviewed it Stuart. um but uh, i have seen it i would like it and i've just not got around to buying it so there we go um if i get one then i'll review it if i don't then i won't um do you think the 22 mil mech mod is dead and replaced with the 24 vape smarter has asked me so screw you um uh no i don't i think the 22 mil is is definitely still happening it's certainly not as fashionable um mainly because a lot of the rdas and tanks and stuff are now 24 mil but i think for, for there's going to always be a, a, a portion of people that still like the 22 mil stuff particularly flavor chasers and the sort of people that would have had maybe 18 350 mods and all that sort of stuff yep i mean that shit all the, all these are 
I think apart from one. They, I mean, they're all 22 mil mechs, all of them. Yeah. But, um, but but that's me. I'm I'm kind of an old dinosaur. Uh, the, some of the guys are asking about 2650s. I have, yes, I have an awful lot of 2650s. No, 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 no. no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, no. 26650, I'm sorry. That's what you've got. And, and they're asking about 2650s. No, they're not. I'm sorry. <laughs> 2650s, like the LG HG6, absolutely. Um, I think I want to see these with more mods. I want to see more mods being able to use these because as far as I know, these are sort of pretty widely available. I got mine from... Um, now I've got to be careful now because I bought two lots of batteries. I bought some from Fogstar, but they were the VTC 5As. These I got from Ecolux, Ecolux in the UK, and uh, Norb got me these. And I think these are fantastic cells, and I'd love to be able to use these in a lot more stuff. Um, so much so that I'm going to be making a mod and should be getting a board in the near future, hopefully, which will will work nicely with them. So I'll be making a mod with those batteries just to see how they all go. Um, Vaping Biker and Todd's Reviews need a new setup, mod and topper. Any suggestions under 150 quid? Daniel, you've not given us anything to work with there, my friend. <laughs> you I tell you what, there's a couple of review channels that I know that probably show you a whole bunch of stuff. That might They might be helpful. <laughs> um, uh, Todd's Reviews, are you in a home-built shed or is it a wooden house? It's actually a green screen um it, it's it's yeah this is all green screen i mean seriously who would who would sit in a place like this by choice um no no this is a shed my friend i've been sitting i've been so how long have i been sitting in the shed for now um five years now oh my god <laughs> um, <laughs> and still not got around to painting it <laughs> No, no. Uh, people would there would be protests in the streets of Inverkeithing where I live if I painted this. <laughs> did you build it? Did you actually put it together, or did you did you pay someone to come in and do that for you? No, uh, Karen paid somebody to come in and build it to get me out of the house. <laughs> that, that true story. That's an absolute true story. Um, it was it was Karen. Yes, Fantastic. I love my wife dearly. <laughs> <laughs> uh guy brushes asked if the new capo is some kind of silly cut off like the single version i've not tested it fully yet um like i say today is the first day of use where with it so uh i know i know nothing else about it at the moment but i'll be able to tell you more later on chris Beddows, do you still use the bare bones mech on occasions absolutely but it depends what i'm testing um Oh, that just jumped like a bastard. Um, vaping biker mod will only increment in what 11.1 what intervals. <laughs> I see what you're saying there. If I make it, if I make a mod, it'll only be kind of equal numbers, which I'd be okay with, to be honest with you. Um, now then, uh, but um, uh, serious check. There's no reviews on the 24 mil death trap. I may, I may go and purchase one, but like I said, I've got so much stuff to review. It's ridiculous at the moment. Um, have you seen the Aroma Miser Titan 41 mil RTA? Would you review it? I have seen it. No, I will not be reviewing it. I did a, uh, I did my 40 mil, um, uh, that massive tank, that dump tank that I did uh, last year, year before. And that's kind of the only one that I'm going to be doing of that kind of thing. They're very, very niche. They're, they're great fun. I did the first one just because of how bongers it was. Um, but uh, but no, I, I, I won't be reviewing another one. So there we go then. Uh, who remembers the shed pre-insulation? Oh, that's going back, isn't it? That is going back. That is going back. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um oh no gareth lynch has done it he's he's he, he oh he's not quite naughty step corner but you know it's uh not far off what would be the best squank mod and top that you have do you I, want to tell him off or shall i um it's it's not there's no such thing as squank there's no such thing as squanking and it just doesn't exist <laughs> It's, it's it's there's no such thing stop it it's bad it's not funny and it's not clear it's not. <laughs> i blame um, i blame the plumes of hazard for that by the way yes very much so um very much so uh, listen i've i've i can't give you a favorite i and without this is dean's show and i don't like 
mentioned my own videos, but I did a video at the end of the year where I showed off all my squonkers, and the ones that I showed off are the ones that I like. There's only a couple, so it wouldn't take long. Good. <laughs> is, that the, is that the one you had like 97 of me? Ah, uh, yeah, I feel like you may be <laughs> exaggerating by at least two there. <laughs> um <clears throat> right what else have we got going on in here anything else happening um uh ba, 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 matthew bloomeris hi guys how are you doing very well thank you how are you matthew um tells you what are your favorite setups tank or rda once again go and check out mark's favorites of the year he covered a fair few things going on in there i i've i've talked in the past my the, undoubtedly i can say that my favorite tank is the berserker both the big and small versions of that i think that that is from a mouth to lung perspective my absolute favorite from a squonking point of view one of my um biggest shocks of the year that i really enjoyed was the lunar squonker i thought it was amazing so that was uh that was something that i very very much like but uh i couldn't i could not pick like i can't pick my favorite top five mechs i don't think from last year let alone anything else to be honest with it so there we go but uh there's a lot of great ones in there um what's the best coil what what the best stock coil rda stock coil rda yeah. Don't know what you're talking about there, Jay Jerry. But once well, again, no best of anything, my friend. I think he's talking about pre builts. I mean, we used to get that question a lot in the vape shops. You know, if you're going to buy a sub tank, which one's got the best coils? Um, and and there is, I'll tell you something, there is no answer to that because stock coils, there is no consistency, <laughs> consistency <laughs> to how they're made. I mean, that's the thing. You could. You could go and buy a pile of stock coils for a certain tank one week. They'd be great. Next week, you go and buy them. They could be shit. It's, you know, it's always a flip of the coin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did ask for RDA, but I'm sure he must be talking about, he must be talking about tanks, I would think. Uh, one thing that I was quite surprised about, I tried this iJoy Captain. And uh, once the coil broke in, that, that wasn't terrible, you know. That wasn't, that wasn't awful. Um, but uh, regulated or mechanical preference, asks Chris Beddows. But, but, but I prefer out of the two. Yeah, that's, that's, um, what, that's what preference usually means. Well, I, I just... <laughs> I can do that as well now. <laughs> um... <laughs> 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 I, I have no preference. It, it depends on the build, to be brutally honest. Um, I normally build everything to run 4.2 volts because that's how I started vaping. I vaped that way for several years. Um, so, but these days it's, 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 yeah, I do use a lot of regulated, but that's just because I've got to review them. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. I think, yeah, it, it's it's horses for courses, isn't it? Some days I just want to do an easy regulated one where I haven't got to worry about the build. And then other days I'm all about the mix. I, I do love mix a lot, but occasionally I'm just super lazy. Occasionally, not all the time, obviously. Um, cure for vapor's tongue. Now, vapor's tongue, I tell you, it's not something that I generally tend to experience that much these days because I swap and chop and change my flavors quite a lot. You, however, stick to very similar flavors all the time. How do you get on with that? Do you ever get vapor's tongue? Uh, I've not had vapor's tongue for two, three years now. Um, but uh, we, we just used to, I mean, <laughs> once again, back in the old days, uh, we just used to, in the shops especially, we would just sell folks some menthol. I just say, take your normal juice, stick a few drops of menthol into it and vape that for a, you know, a couple of days and that'll cure it. Absolutely. Sandpaper or cheese graters should not be used, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, that and uh, sniffing some freshly ground coffee, getting that right into your olfactory senses and all that sort of stuff to try and help um, clear those out. Anything that kind of shocks the system. So menthol stuff, um, strong smelling um, kind of coffee, that kind of thing, or, you know, go into a dung field and uh, and stick your head in some of that. That'll sort of out. Um, but uh, otherwise, just change your flavors up if you if you find that you're getting bored um what else have we got going on here oh, how do you oh, sorry mate i was just i'm jumping i just want i just think i'm just going to take a moment because you can relate to this one Go just on. want to say a, a massive thank you to mr barry miller 
Mr. Barry Miller, who painted this picture of my little dog. Um, he's an awesome bloke. And I believe chat? he did something for you as well. Yes. Is he in the chat? He is in the chat, yes. I just All saw right. him there. Just... Right. Crack on then. Right. Carry on talking about Barry. Yep. Yeah, and um, Barry did a cracking picture of Dean's old dog, Dizzy, uh, which is a beautiful. His link to his website is in all my videos. There we go. I, I should plug really over. He <laughs> does commissions and all that sort of good stuff. So if you want to, uh, he, his, uh, his, his, um, he's brilliant with animals. He really catches the, the sort of the essence of the animals, but also um, he, uh, people as well. He's fantastic. He's a talented, talented man. He really was. Yes, yes. He's got a lovely message as well. Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. They are, they're, they're, they're a lovely, lovely pair in vaping. Yeah. Um, right. What else we got? Has, have we got any more? Yeah, I'll, I'll ask you. Have you have you made your mind up? I'm asking you this, like uh, we've not discussed it already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's your belly? You still got the shits, mate? No, sorry. Yes, um, so, yeah, <laughs> um, vape events this year. Do you know? Do you, have you made your mind up what you're doing yet? I think I am going to go and do a day trip to Jam on the Saturday. And I will be at both expos unless uh, unless someone decides to to invite me to to America or, or a foreign one. But I'll be at both expos for sure for for the entirety of the whole thing. But the the jam thing, yeah, I think I'm just going to rock up to that for for a day. Um, it's a lot to it's a lot to spend out with, and I I'm not a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> but also the idea of doing that the uh the you know going to the hotels and all that sort of stuff is fine but it's jam isn't isn't as big as expo so you can cover jam in a day but you couldn't you couldn't cover expo in a day not by any stretch no no but and i'm not going to vape fest what about you i've got glasgow school of vape coming up this weekend uh, which is a very small event but if you're in scotland i recommend going um there's, I've got Stuttgart, Germany, going to that. And the only UK one I've got booked so far is Vape Fest. Um, and I'll wait and see about Expo later on in the year. Um, and I think I'll go back to Paris again. I'd like to go back to Paris. And I might be going to Poland again. And I'll shut up now. <laughs> just because, you know, just because you're, even though you're number two these days. Oh! Know, Right in the balls. <laughs> you still get all the posh events, and uh, and I'm okay with that because you're 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 better at, at uh, representing things. <laughs> I'll just upset people. Um, here we go. Matt Haynes has said, "Vape bike and toss release." I've got a phobia squonker with a Mod Maker Five Ten, which stopped firing. I've got a feeling that has something to do with a little adjustable wheel uh, things on, on the inside. Make sure. That with your um with your uh your 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 five ten that the um the, the the smaller of the of the of the brass connectors underneath there is screwed up all the way because if that start that one that it is that one that comes a little bit loose isn't it I think pretty sure it is Todd help me out are you, are you okay there mate no I'm, I'm pretty sure that but just make make sure everything's snug so if you've got if the if the if the lower kind of contact is kind of unscrewed a little bit then make sure that that is screwed up all the way yeah yeah but there's not really much in there that can go wrong and the mod maker 510s are really good so you should be fine and dandy with that if you've got a problem i'm sure that brandon would be more than happy to uh to help you out because he's a he's a very very nice man bradley just, bradley. just say, he's still a very very nice man yes it's this we, that's why i call him bob <laughs> because I can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, sorry, Bradley. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> right. What else have we got going on here? Anything else that you've seen there that's uh, that's 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 uh, that's the thing? Uh, well, there's oh, there's somebody wanting to know if we're into FPV uh, copters. Well, I, I think he might have the wrong show, but there we go. Um, <laughs> there, there's there's somebody asking about. Uh, short fills. I saw a question about short fills. I saw a question about short fills. I think it was kind of um, what is uh, what's our opinion on short fills, 
And how do you, that's an interesting one. How do you feel about um, regulation when it comes to short fills? Because there's been kind of mutterings that they may get included under the TPD or the TRPR as it is now. Um, but uh, obviously we've not seen anything, anything more come along with that. Have you, have you got any thoughts or heard any rumblings? I am. Um, yes. Sorry. I'll let you watch chat. Um, short fills. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you, most people know the run up to TPD. Everybody changed their bottles. They, they had to, you know, submit everything for TPD and whatnot. And that's such a shit show going on. Companies closed down, disappeared. And then they figured out they can just do short fills and bypass the whole thing, which just made a mockery of everything. It yeah. really did. Um, so for the consumer, yeah, it's great. But for all those people that spend all that money, I feel sorry for them. Uh, I really do. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, okay. Uh, Phantom New Gaming, no, we don't We don't get involved with clones on here, my friend. So uh, I'm, there's plenty of people that do, and if that's your thing, then crack on. But it's not uh, It's not for, not for us. Um, is the Geek Vape Black Ring a good mod for a person that wants to get into tube mix? The Geek Vape Black Ring. What's the Geek Vape Black Ring? Why the Geek Vape Black Ring? What's one of them? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> Was it the one that looked like a vibrator? Was that the Black Ring? You know, that one that looked like a, ve a veiny penis. Um <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't. I know I don't remember that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, how does the pulse, the pulse box, compare to a mech tube? Um, Daniel DJLSB did a test on his pulse, so go and check that bad boy out. Um, if that uh, if that helps you there, David F. Um, it does. It's going to lose a bit of voltage drop compared to what tube you compare it to. So, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's difficult. Is there anywhere to find a drone these days? Someone was saying a little while ago that the, the drone has been re-released. Now, I don't know if Lost Vape have actually done that or not. I've not heard anything from Lost Vape about that. But uh, it could be worth, if you're in the UK, checking out maybe Evolution Vaping or someone like that. Yeah. Um, it would have been a wise move in their part to do a, a re-release on it, given the amount of people that actually ask for it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So um, I think I, I'm sure I saw that there, that there were some floating around again. I'm sure I saw someone in my group or in my on my Vapor Micro Facebook page say that they've just bought one. But I don't know where that was from. Um, like Jeff Tizer, the Vapor Micro Reviews, there's been a lot of talk of vaping causing issues with electronic equipment in the house due to moisture. Have you had any problems? I personally haven't. I've obviously in quite a small studio. I've got a lot of electronics over here as well. But, you know, I just make sure I don't blow into, you know, computer fans or anything like that, that that's going to suck stuff up. But, uh, no, I've had no problems other than just kind of VG collecting on on metal things and, uh, and being a bit nasty, but not something I've experienced. Have you? Uh, yes and no. I mean the the shed. I mean the shed is is tiny, and I mean I tend to blow vape in one direction, and I've had to move my regulated mods because they were directly in line with where I normally exhale. Yeah, and I did notice that two or three of them were actually the buttons were getting sticky on them. Yeah, and I had to actually went and bought. What did I buy? That con uh, contact cleaner. That's what I right. bought. Uh, and, and clean them all out because and so yes but um, this is a tiny tiny wee space i wouldn't think in a a living room somebody's house i don't think it would be that much of an issue no no certainly not something i've ever experienced to be honest not saying it couldn't happen because it's moisture it's moisture in the air so potentially but certainly not something i've had um apart from a collection on the windows of course but that's not electronic um yeah. Schwarzy, have you been offered any of Mike Vape's juice? It does sound nice. Hit that donut, etc. I think I spoke to Mike uh, months and months ago, and he said that he would hook me up, and then I didn't follow up with it. So I, I haven't tried it, but uh, I'm, I'm not averse to it at all. Um, the bid is starting to look decent, says Barry. <laughs> <laughs> just because he's got a, he's got a proper bid, and mine's just a bit ropey. I'm kind of, I, I'm taking it as a compliment, but I, at the same time, know that he's going, yeah, but mine's better. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh dear. Um, uh, Phantom Nigo, my Valerian tank came with a plastic stopper in my tank, which makes it two mil, take the bung out, and it's six mil. A lot of things are doing that now, buddy. That's uh, that's one of those things that um, that a lot of these tank people are kind of seeing as a as a way around the uh, the issues. Um, but uh, I I can't see that being allowed for for much longer, to be honest. Yeah, it's. I mean, I mean, just now it's really just it's. Is it not just your your trading standards, your local trading standards that places that, and and they don't have a clue anyway. So, exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, you two should do a vape trick showdown. <laughs> I would lose. <laughs> I have got mad skills, to be fair. My uh, Dino's Vape Tricks channel is coming up so shortly. Um, <laughs> Matt and Barry do win the beard comp. Put me to show. Absolutely, Andy. Matt and Barry together have got crazy beards, and I'm very, very jealous of the pair of them. But they're very, very grey, and uh, I've only got hints of grey, so I'm clearly sexier. Um, <laughs> right. Is there anything else that we need to have a chat about? Have you had anything new in that you're kind of like, woohoo? Uh, have I? Have I? Uh, the 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 little wasp. The the what the what do you call it? Umia. The what? Umia. Uh, the, the VLS. That's it. That, that that's quite interesting. Um, I I do actually quite like this. Um, there seems to be a lot of discussion about if if the the deck is removable or not. And and yes, it is, and that makes it its biggest flaw, in my opinion. Um, Will they be producing other decks to put in it? Do you think? I don't know because you can do horizontal, vertical, dual coil, single coil with this, so it it pretty much covers all the bases. I don't know if a, another deck would add anything. I think I think one of the reasons for the removable deck is that because you're, when you're doing vertical coils, it makes it easier to pull the cotton through. Yeah. But um, for £18, it's, it's yeah, it is very good. But that, if you if you don't grab the bottom ring yeah. here when you're unscrewing it from your atty, uh, if you just try to adjust the airflow, you can actually end up unscrewing, separating the deck and the base completely gotcha okay um because steve is saying do you think the tpd will be partially repealed after the new science that's coming forward on the health benefits that's an interesting question since christmas was it when the 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 the, the smoking or no smoking adverts that were, were coming out was were, were including vaping um i feel that it's going to be one of those things where the government's saying yeah vaping safer but no, we're not. We're not going to. We're not going to change anything because um, we know better than you. So we're going to. We're going to stop you having stuff that that isn't that we don't agree with or that we don't understand. So I think it's going to be a hard push before we can get to have any of the any of the TPD TRPR repealed or uh, or changed. Yeah, I mean, but <laughs> how often do the government repeal law or go back in laws that have passed through? I mean, really. Um, <laughs> No, I don't know. It'd be nice, but and I, personally, I can't see it. But uh. yeah, yeah, it's going to be a thing. Um, someone did ask me if I'm going to be going on to the, on the bike this summer, um, and you know if I'm if I'm going anywhere special. Uh, if I can get it triked for the summer, then yes, I will do. It's just because my legs don't work. Um, then uh, no, I can't ride two wheels at the minute. If I can do three wheels, I would love to turn up at kind of a vape shop in various places of the, of the country or go down to an event on my trike. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? But uh, but no, no plans to at the minute. Uh, that was to Gareth Lynch. Um, E-Sig 1 has the drone BF in stock at the minute, apparently. And he said, "When well, and he's when he said, one the people that we got the moon box from." Yes, yes, they go. usually come up, and you know, you'll know yourself when we do reviews and we look for prices. They do usually come up cheaper than anywhere else. And I must admit, I've always, even though they come up cheaper, there was always that part of me that was like, "Well, um, the kosher," and and yeah, when I bought the moon box, it was here next day kind of thing. 
yeah so absolutely i was concerned that when we bought it if it's going to be one of them sites that you buy something through and then they they order a fuck ton off them off gear best or whatever do you know what i mean yeah um, yeah but no pretty good service um would you ever consider doing a vape tour through the UK, visiting UK stores and local vapors? Absolutely. Um, and that's something that I'd previously discussed with uh, with uh, Richard V1CK, vaping with V1CK, and uh, and uh, our pal Inky Vapor as well. And um, that would definitely be cool. And I would love for uh, Mr. Todd to do that. But the two of us sitting in my little, my little uh, Suzuki wagon R, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> what about go fund me for the trike conversion no andrew um it's not something that i'm comfortable with doing i already get fantastic levels of support from the patreon people and if that patreon grows and you know brings in enough money to do it then certainly but uh and, and currently that's uh that's that's something else i don't think setting up a go fund me for for something like that is really appropriate for me personally but thank you very much for for asking uh jared is asking about the deck and the vls thought it was reverse threaded so it didn't come apart when adjusting airflow if you adjust the airflow clockwise like this doink don't know if you'll be able to see that but that has now separated no. that so when it comes out the box it's really really tight so it's, it's not a major issue then but if you're getting it once you take it to bits, getting it tight as that again is a bit of a struggle. Um, I just don't think it was something that was required because even when you're putting vertical coils in it, there's plenty of space there below the coil. You put the coil in a little bit higher than, say, you normally would, pull the cotton through, then push the coil down, and it's fine. It's, it, I think it's Personally, I think it's a flaw, but that, but that's just me. Okay. Look forward to your review on that one. Do you know when you'll be doing that? Will it be a couple of weeks' time, that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it'll be a couple of weeks, two or three weeks away for this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do either of us have the Squid Industries double barrel V2.1? No, we don't, Bradley. Um, and uh, when uh, was it Grim showed off that a, a while ago? And it was, it looked really, really cool. I'd like one, but no, I haven't got one. And uh, that'll be far too angry for Mr. Todd. He couldn't cope with that sort of thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. I was reading a question, mate. Sorry. <laughs> Guybrush three wood. Is there any signs of the DNA two fifty C or something bigger than seventy five watts? Um, I may have something to tell you guys about that later. We'll see. We'll see. Not for a bit though. Um, when are you and Mark bringing out your juice line with merchandise? Well, well, the uh, the little and large juice line. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of very kind of custard and uh and black currant <laughs> and uh we've got mark's favorites which are which are thistle and misery and i'm uh mine are all about mine's all the uh, cathedrals and and uh and 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 cold weather so <laughs> you gotta go to your roots on that <laughs> no plans to um uh Ryan uh, Tosri is just exactly where the date moves. Do wicked, nothing more, nothing less. Umia even show it in their marketing for it. But if it if it gets loose, Ryan, it's pointless. Um what else we got going on in here? Uh that, that, that's something just to basically to cover. I mean, that's something to cover about reviews and rev kind of what we do. Yeah. If for me, knowing that, that Atty does that, it will never be an issue for me going forward yeah but as a reviewer you have to you have to show it to people and make people aware of it and three years working in a vape shop believe me if you were to sell 10 of them nine people would come back and it would they would have it in bits uh, yeah. because it's unscrewed so even though you know it does it and you might be a, an experienced vapor we have to point these things out i'm afraid yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's, it's when, but earlier on when I was talking about um, kind of getting a little bit bored, not bored, but not super excited with a bunch of stuff that's coming out at the minute. Um, I've been thinking about kind of how I do my reviews and stuff. And I, I think people who watch me and already know the fact that if I'm super excited about something like I was with the, uh, the dreamer or the, the, the B2K, um, 
it just it just kind of floods out of you. You can't help but gush. And <clears throat> it's not often that you get something that you that you kind of gush over. Um, but uh, when you get when you get kind of something that does turn up, that's usually one in every 15, 20 products, if that. Yeah. And um, and so it means that you can get not bored of it, but it's it's a, you have to kind of put the facts out there. And then if if the, if the facts do mean that something comes undone or, you know, it's super easy to, to be confused about, you do have to point that out because it will be a negative to some people. But uh, there you go. It's one of them things. How do you get past that kind of phase of going oh, just it's the same mod again? Um. I'm not so bad. I mean, th three years working in a vape shop kind of toughens you to it, I have to say. I mean, you, you sell a few thousand. Um, you explain to a few thousand people how an ego kit works, and you just kind of get used to it. Um, but I do worry that sometimes it does come across in a review that when you're reviewing, I, I don't know, just a just say you're reviewing another Chinese dual 18650 230-watt device with colours and all that. I sometimes worry that it's coming across in the tone of my voice that I'm, like, just going through the motions. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> And it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's one of those things of being like, oh, well, you get loads of, loads of free stuff. So you should be excited all the time. But it's, it's, it's not, is it? I mean, they, you know, the, 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 the stuff that we review, they're not, it's not free stuff to play with. It's, they're things to review. It's part of our jobs. I mean, I, I get excited. I mean, I get excited very easily. Let's face it. <laughs> 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 um i often forget that we hobbyists are actually a small minority in the global vaping thing thang he's put gaping thang but i'm, I'm sure that uh mr Maltram says uh means vaping but um <clears throat> yeah i mean the the hobbyists are tiny i mean out of a hundred products that you'd sell when you were at the shop how many of them were were hobbyist products that compares can oh, i can't talk compared to starter stuff or kind of beginner stuff honestly i mean that's if i wanted to make if i was to open up my own shop maybe not so much now but back in the day i, I mean i would open up a shop selling a 30 watt regulated mod with uh an, a nautilus on top that was who came in who came and bought gear and and even still in the vape shops i mean that's who's in and out of brick and mortar stores now more than anything um but yeah i'm sorry i'm just just i'm reading a question what's that metal barrier under your dog's canvas says christian metal barrier that man is that that massive german mod um that one that's the one that's that's the, um... <laughs> the, the, the unicorn horn the gulliver <laughs> The Gulliver, it's a, a dual 18650, um, or, or or it might have been that. That, that, that. That's another small mod that I like to, that, that's my pocket mod, but that's just for when I'm out and about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I have a small pipe, I have a small pipe as well, just because it's, you know, you need something discreet when you're at the pub. So, <laughs> with the big stem on it, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it were misses. I need to get using my pipe again. That was that's an amazing piece of kit. Um, right, I think unless we've got anything else that's that's relevant or exciting, if there's any other questions, please get them in chat immediately. Start them with that vaping bike or at Todd's reviews, and let's uh, let's see if we've got anything else to answer before we go. We've been going for an hour and forty minutes, so it's another one of those monsters that are going to make my. Uh, my my uh, retention figures crap on uh, on YouTube, but fuck it, let's do it anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, what else have we got going on? Do you ever find you're specialising in a single type, mouth, lung tank, squonkers, or vape gear, and have to open your mind to other products again? That's a good question because I've experienced something similar to that, which I'll go into in a second. But Steve asked that. What 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 do you think there? Uh, the market dictates what. This is my opinion. The market dictates what we review basically yeah. uh more uh, more often than not i'm i'm quite lucky because i get to cherry pick certain things but more often than not it's yeah it's the fashion it's you know 
mouth to lung became fashionable for a while there so we all started reviewing mouth to lung tanks again and squonkers and and in another few months time it could change again and mouth to lung could disappear once again absolutely absolutely um i do think it's something that we can because like i've said sort of previously i've, I've sort of turned away a lot of review stuff because it's just not different to anything else but um i think if you've got something that really tickles your taste buds like it is a nice little squonker or it, it is for me it's a you know a real cracking mech tube or something like that then uh, you certainly can get more excited about it but i don't think i don't think intentionally we specialize i think we both try to have a, a fair variety of both kind of the affordable gear the 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 open gear the closed gear as well as the the, the aspirational stuff stuff obviously mark does more aspirational gear than i do but it's it's the reason we watch things like or we used to watch bloody good vaping when damien was doing that and and even things like top gear or we watch reviews on cameras you can never afford or whatever else it's nice to see stuff that's out there i that sort of shit excites me not because i'd want one just because i nice i look at it and go fuck that's nice yeah totally agree um there's uh, boom, boom, boom. Chris, okay, so there's a lot of questions. There's somebody that keeps asking about, uh, where is he? Jeremiah. He doesn't know what mod to get, a Hog V3 or a PWM box mod, given that I don't know what a Hog V3 is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Hog V3 is a beast. Um, however, if you, Jeremiah, if you're asking, I imagine that it, you may not be the most um experienced so going with a pwm does generally give you a little bit more um kind of features within a pwm mod um but it's also going to be very dependent on what you're going to put on it if you're going to put like a 30 mil atomizer or 40 mil atomizer on it then the hog is one of the few products that can can cope with something of that kind of size but if you're going to do normal 24 25s then you've, the world is your oyster so it depends on what tickles you tickles your undercarriage what's what's a pwm Box mod, Mr. Baker. <laughs> pulse width modulation. What's pulse width modulation, Mr. Baker? It modulates pulses. <laughs> <laughs> like an old variable voltage. <laughs> <What's your face? laughs> I just saw I just saw an opportunity to educate and I, I thought I would let you pick up yeah, okay then. <laughs> 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 no, uh, there's another guy that's been asking. I'm quite pleased I remembered pulse width modulation, to be honest with you. Yeah, that was peak now. That's me done. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a guy there, mad for diving, has been asking a question of you for a wee while. How do you get that nice patina on your copper mods? By using well, it and having sweaty hands. Yes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um just just by with a lot of use and you can see that i've not used this one for a day or two because um it, with use then you tend to get more of a patina going on up top and then this bottom section will be a little bit pinker um but uh but no it's um it's just a use thing to be honest with you but uh, that's one of the things that you get when you get some of these. Occasionally, you'll get a Chinese copper mod that's kind of a, not a very nice grade and it doesn't patina very well and it's just a bit sucky. I was a little bit concerned when I first unboxed the Dreamer thinking that that may be the case with those, but most certainly is not. It's a, it's a, it's a nice quality copper going on there. Um, Stuart Waters, you have a spade and an SQ, which it's harder. I do not have an SQ, so I can't answer your question. Um, does filling the bottle that screws into the 510 work on the pulse squonk mod? Yeah, absolutely. Any of the any of the refill bottles or or the uh the, the Bombatech top cap thingy jigs, they all work with the with the pulse. So yeah, all fine and dandy there. Uh oh, nice name drop there, mate. Sponsored much? <laughs> <laughs> Who is what with Bombatech? <laughs> <laughs> I should ask them to sponsor me. I oh, know you can't get sponsored, can you? Um, bollocks. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? What do you think about SVA products? Asks Laszlo. And clearly they're asking you more than me because I, I've never had one because I'm not that posh. Um, uh, I, personally, and I, I'm going on older SVA products, I was never interested in them because the wiring in them was... In my humble opinion, and this, and I'm, once again, I'm talking a year or so back. The I thought the the wire and the electronics in them were shocking, but uh, that may have changed. That may have changed. So, 
There you go. Fair enough. Um, what we've got going on there is um, uh, bah, 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 bah. what's the RDA you constantly go back to and also your favourite PWM, please, asks Ahmed. Ahmed. Um, I I don't, I mean, I tend to, at the minute, I, I've, I've gone back to the drop again, which I'm rather enjoying. I uh, I recently went back to the, uh, the, the, the. Warps. Warps. Rebel? No. Um, yeah, Rebel. Is it the Rebel? No. Yes. The Grimm's one. Um, I've recently gone back to that again because I've really been enjoying that one. Um, but uh, because of the amount of stuff that comes through the doors that needs to get tested to review, I don't often get the opportunity to go back. But it's nice on those rare occasions to be able to look at the shelf and go, cool, I really used to like that, so I'll, I'll use that for today. or you know, And that will be very dependent on what I feel like vaping at any given time. Um, you're a Nada man, aren't you? You always go back to your Nadas. Uh, yeah. That that's my my go to. Absolutely has been for has been for over two years now, um, and it's still, still is. Um, other than that, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that just now. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Jerry says, "Do you think um, they will continue to bring out more higher watt mods or two hundred watts? Is it there is? I think there is going to be more like um, stupid wattage things, but." The majority of stuff is going to be topping out at around 200 purely because of a size thing when it comes to batteries more than anything else. Um, but also, I, I I don't know many people that vape at 200 watts. And a lot of the time, that extra power is going in there because they've got these honking great big coils going on there, which need a lot of voltage to, to heat them up. Um, so ba basically, I'll just build to accommodate low i i really like vaping at 66.6 watts that just it really works out well for me i'm not going to go a cloud comp and i still get a uh, a pretty decent vape from that to be honest with you i mean on this uh i joy thing at the minute i've got 40 watts going on there cloudy as you like single coil so you know Get some do, of those do you, I'm just sorry, sorry to interrupt. I'm just curious, but when when you're outside vaping, do you do that whole thing as well? When you no, but I've got this this head thing here. You see the headrest. Yeah. It kind of it gets in the way. So fuck you. I, I just have a vision of you walking down the street, going for the paper, and doing this. Thing. <laughs> 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 uh, um, uh, does that skull have glasses on yes yes it does so it can read absolutely dave doesn't though dave has a uh has the crown on which there he is there's dave there he is um i dug him up years ago and he's uh he's stuck with me um i know the feeling yeah <laughs> 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 uh tons of reviews what have you and dean got coming in for review do you want to say about what you've got planned for the for the next week um or, or no actually he said coming in so anything new that you're expecting coming in i yes i have things coming in that yes i have things come i can't you can't i usually keep it until there uh, here's the thing um let's just say bob who's italian you don't get many italians called bob i know but bob makes fancy mods and he'll get in touch with reviewers like myself and dean and he'll say do you fancy reviewing this and you'll go yes and he'll say he's going to send it so you're sitting here waiting on stuff coming in and you'll never see it so that's why i never say what i'm got coming in until it's in front of me exactly exactly i got as far as actually picking out wood for a uh, for a for a for a mod for a, for the door um two months before christmas never arrived never happened and as soon as you say it out loud then that is that's it game over you can guarantee it's not coming in um what's so, your favorite type of wire asks asks christian uh anything that glows red and vaporizes my juice Absolutely. Uh, Raven uh, asks, Dean, what are your thoughts on the TFV8? No idea. I don't have one. I didn't like the TFV whatevers um, since the very first one came out. I didn't. I thought it was a horrible um, tank, but I know it was very, very fashionable and a lot of people really liked it. Yep. Um, 
do you care about being matchy matchy uh phantom says uh, who cares more about being matchy matchy and uh, i'm gonna go with i've got a green mod with a blue rda so i'm going with probably not to be honest <laughs> it's nice occasionally but uh you're you're a little bit more um conscious about that i think aren't you if it's not a review item if it's something of my own i i will i, I hate to admit this i um I will stand in the shed for a long. It's like waiting on your wife getting ready to go out. That's what I'm like when I'm I'm getting a mod, a dripper, and a drip tip. It, it takes time. Yeah, it takes time. That's yeah. quite embarrassing, actually. <laughs> yeah. um, vape smarter, vape smarter. We made that pink mod that you uh, you reviewed um, recently. Um, yes. Uh, what do you think you'll both be using in five years' time? I imagine Mr. Todd will be using a Zimmer frame, um, to be honest. But <laughs> as far as vaping goes, not a clue. <laughs> um, I know what I'll be using. I'll, I'll, I'll still be using a Narda and uh, a mechanical squonker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, any interest in designing an rda rsa or rdta asks mastro mastro vapes um i've been offered that a lot to be honest with you i got offered again by another company for like the third time from those guys today um and I've got no interest in designing an RDA currently because I can't think of anything that would bring anything new to the party, that would bring anything special going on. And I, whilst I would love to have the time to be able to sit down and go, right, let's let's create something cool, I haven't got the time to to do that. So I've got no um, no plans to doing an atomizer in the near future. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen tesla six double barrel mod yes and it's regulated so unlike the by turbo one um that was that was horrific then uh yes i've seen it and no i won't be reviewing it jeremiah um was your thought favorite savory food or sweet food i'm really into crisps at the minute yeah. so that's the thing yeah I've, I've kind of i'm going since i've stopped drinking I'm eating way less chocolate and shit, and I'm kind of eating, having kind of peanuts and, and crisps and things. I'm getting really into them. I tried, I sent you a picture yesterday, was it, of some crisps, crisps made of peas, and they're fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you ever think about coming out with a mech tube? Once again, David, very, very difficult to do very differently to anybody else, I think. Um, so no plans to at the moment. Mr. Biker, do you use beard oil? I do use beard oil and balm, although I've not got any balm on today. And the beard oil I use and the balm at the minute comes from the old Norse dot co dot uk the old norse dot co dot uk because they um they, they make it locally to me and i really really fucking like it i really do like it um thank you very much raven about my combo uh <coughs> what flavor e-juice do you think will be the next big thing this year because it does cycle round doesn't it jack mcginn for custards again i i, th I think oh, custards custards never went out of fashion well they did, did for they? Anyone, you know yeah under the age of 85 <laughs> not I don't, I don't mean that I mean, I, i'm only i'm only dig, taking a dig at mr todd not to anybody else in their 40s or 30s that drinks that uses custard carry on <laughs> no get it up yeah just, just get it up yeah Listen, just. you can take the best all you like go, go and stand up then show us what you're wearing shut up <laughs> 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 now you see some people might think that that's just you taking the piss out of me not being able to stand up but i'm actually wearing animal muppet trousers uh, yeah. <laughs> um uh Ahmed asks me what guitars do i have my main guitar is a an ibanez 450s a slim body thing that was from 1992 maybe um, and so I've still got that and I still use that. I've got a couple of others, but, uh, I don't really use any, anything else. Um, what is the worst RDA you've ever used in your life? Um, ooh, Jeremiah asks, um, I, I have, I've had two, I had one, there was a combo that was an RDA, RDTA and RTA that was called the rage. I think it was, was it called the rage? And, and 
it upset me so much. It up really, really did. I think I might have even reviewed it like two or three years ago, and I hated it so much. And then I, I had a, uh, I had a, um, like a UFO looking thing, which was not very good at all. Um, have you had anything that stands out to be just a huge vaping issue, disaster problem? Uh, I, oh, I've had many over the years, but I, I thought I had a photo of the one, but I must have deleted it. Um, no, can't find it. Um, yeah, I've had a few though. I have had a, quite a few. <laughs> uh, um, usually anything that's uh, RDA wise, as much as I love a lot of the stuff that Anakin does, any RDA by Anakin usually sucks balls. That has to be said. It, it, it does. Just balls. <laughs> um, I think cereal vapes will be the new thing. I think we've had we've had that kind of um, cereal thing, and it didn't really go. It went cereals went crazy in America, but didn't really catch on over in the UK. I don't think. Um, Todd's reviews going on a lease car. Here we go. Look, car one Mazda three fastback or Volvo S sixty slash ninety. I'd go for the S sixty. Definitely, I'd go for the Mazda because it's a little bit sexier on the inside. Yeah, but I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I've got the wasp nano and in love. Any thoughts on any other 22 RDAs that is that good? Um, there's a bunch. There's a bunch out there now. Um, not necessarily 22 as much, but I think in a similar price range, the B2K would be would be outstanding. Um, even though it's like 23, at the bit the bul bulbous is out, it's actually a 22 mil RDA on the inside, really um what else have we got going on uh you seen the squonk attachment for mech mods yes greg olsen i have and i think it's truly truly ridiculous <laughs> i think there's no requirement for it in this day and age um uh what's the worst juice you've caped i'm going for vapes i i had a phantom ravioli um uh, last year and that was that was truly horrific because it tasted like ravioli which was in tomato sauce which was fucking disgusting um, do you think the push against vaping coming from big tobacco has dropped off lately? I've never really thought that big tobacco are the biggest, biggest issue that we have to vape, uh, fight as vapors. I think um, they want to get involved with it, and I think they want to they want to earn money off it. Obviously, they want to use their heating products rather than actual full ball vaping because it still means using tobacco that they produce, which is a bad thing. Um, but I think it's the uh, it's the, the the pharmacies that have been the not the pharmacies, the pharmaceuticals are the biggest problem. Um, right. I don't think there's anything else unless you've seen um, seen a, a question there that you particularly want to answer, Mr. Todd. No, I'm, I'm just laughing because you said about half an hour ago that they were going. Yes, but then I said if you've got a question, bang them in, and then loads of questions happened. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's, now, it's now 11 o'clock so that's two hours on the trot and i think that is going to be coming to an end of it so thank you so much for for watching um we'll be going to mr todd for a little thing out in a moment um but uh no thank you very much for watching thank you very much for sticking with us and thank you very much for sticking with me um over the course of the last month when there's not been very much content going out there i truly do appreciate it the channel is is crazy it's breaking so many new ground so i'll be at sixty thousand subscribers in the next day or two and um and that to me just blows me away i think for for the numbers that uh, that we're getting it's not all about numbers but it's nice to see that the uk can kind of hold its own in the in the the, the bigger world of vaping if you like so thank you so much for that i do appreciate it and also thank you so much for the support that of those of you that are in my patron or those of you that are patrons um that's very very kind of you and it allows me to do things like buying the rigs and all that sort of stuff that that helps me to continue to do the thing that i love and hopefully you guys enjoy as well so it's incredibly appreciated but uh no other than that oh, I oh, think should, on, what, on, what 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 fucking no stop stop we just went uh mastro vapes he's getting married this week on friday so all the best for that mate he's starting a new job in march and he says you can expect to gain a new patreon and he also enjoyed the article that you wrote which you haven't mentioned in this vlog, and I think you yeah. should. Okay. There is there is an article that is on vapingbiker.co.uk, just about my thoughts about kind of the the, the rise of, of um, sort of tabloid 
tabloid reviewing and all that sort of stuff. And it, it makes me a little bit sad because we don't have to all be friends as reviewers. But um, but, you know, it's uh, I think people we as a as a conglomerate of individuals should concentrate more on getting out quality content for you guys purely because how much stuff there is available now. One reviewer can't cover everything. So I think, you know, we people should concentrate more on their own own stuff rather than other people's. But anyway, that's not a drama. Um, post in very in fact it's very much the opposite so if you're interested in having a bit of a read and you haven't seen it as yet then go and uh, check that out but no going back to mastro vapes absolutely congratulations um and uh, and good luck on on friday i hope you have a wonderful time um it's uh, being married is fantastic it's also you know challenging because you, you can now say your wife just just uh, you annoy your wife on a daily basis so <laughs> <laughs> but it is fantastic so congratulations on that one and thank you very much you don't have to support me on patreon but uh, i do very much appreciate it those of you that do right i think we're going now so are you ready mr todd i'm always ready nah. thank you so much and we will see you very very soon but have it large <laughs>